Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and welcome to the Black Widow Challenge Part 2. So I started this challenge la on Saturday, I was about to say last Saturday, I started it on Saturday and before we get into this part, I just want to say thank you so, so much for all the feedback on the first part. You guys seem to be really excited for this challenge and seem to love Eden, which I am so happy about. I think she is such a fun sim and I am completely obsessed with her. So I think she's going to be a lot of fun to see grow throughout this challenge. And I wasn't actually going to record this part. I was just going to skip to the next day. But then I thought, you know what, this is what this challenge is all about. So basically what happened is we had our first kiss with Jay. As you can see, they are currently having a passionate kiss right now. And he is very much like in love with her. I asked you guys in the last part whether you wanted me to try and marry Jay first or Don Lothario and honestly a lot of you had different opinions um, but Jay actually won out I also put a poll up on Twitter and it was like 40 it was like 44 to 56 percent for Jay so Jay actually won what are you doing we do not want to sleep just yet. We want to have a woohoo. I am basically wanting them to woohoo because it will help us with our romantic relationship. We also need to propose to him, which I think we are going to do in this part, quite honestly, because we are pretty high up in our relationship already, which is insane. Like, this is our second part and it's our first day still. We um, played a Sunday, now it's Monday, and here we go. It's time for a little mom to go in the house. Oh my goodness, look at what she is wearing. No wonder he couldn't resist her. But here we go. This is second part, and we're already on this level. That is pretty good going. I am impressed with Eden. Like, girl has game. <laughs> Just gonna put that one out there. She has so much game. Like, how did that just happen? First night in a new neighborhood, no one knows you, and you're already betting someone. I am impressed. Oh my goodness. The sound effects of that, though. Are you not sleeping, Jay? At least he's not, like, walking out on us. Oh, there we go. Just as I said that, he walks out on us. Really? I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. You betcha you'll see us later. I'm thinking that we're gonna try and propose in this part. Because why not? That is literally the aim of this challenge. We need to marry someone straight away. We need to throw a big white wedding and... We're going to have to save for that, actually, because we have no money. So I think we're going to have to collect some collectibles. Uh, I guess we could kind of move him in before we get married. I know a lot of you have been saying, Jay lives with roommates. I think what I'm going to do is split him from his roommates. So I'll move him into a different house um, for free. I don't know. I kind of want to make it realistic. I was just going to, like, move him in no matter what, even though he had roommates and just cheat in the money because technically it's still my money. Like, I still deserve that because we are getting married, but his roommates would keep it if we got married. Um, I don't really know how to go about it. If you guys don't mind me doing that, like, technically in the rules it says you're not allowed to use money cheats, but it's technically not cheating in money that wasn't ours already. If he lived by himself, we would get money for marrying him. I'm not too sure how much, which is why I was going to split him from his household and then move him in, just so I know how much money we would be getting. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, hopefully it won't be too bad. Oh, and also a couple of you have been asking whether or not I want you guys to make some future spouses for us and a couple of you have been saying why don't you have her marry girls as well honestly I don't see Eden in that way I see her as being completely straight and I think it's just gonna be men in this series that's not to say that I don't want LGBTQ representation because in my youngins let's play I do actually have a bisexual sim that I do play as and she has a relationship with a girl 
But I think for this specific challenge, I just want Eden to marry men. So I do want you guys to create some lovers for her and you can do this by uploading the males to the gallery and use the hashtag, I'm trying to think of a hashtag, I guess BW English Simmer. But I don't know if that's going to be too long or not. Okay, scrap that. That might be too long. Just BW obviously stands for Black Widow. So hashtag BW Ing Simmer. And I will put that up on the screen right now so that I know you guys get the spelling right and stuff like that because it can be kind of difficult to understand me sometimes. I know that. So I will put that up on the screen right at this minute and you guys can use that hashtag on the gallery. I'll be going through there. I'll be picking some of my faves and liking them and maybe leaving comments on a few. If I don't pick your sims for this challenge then I do apologize but I will try and like favorite or comment and things like that on as many as I can because I honestly love it when you guys get involved in my let's play and I think it could be kind of cool if you guys create these sims that are gonna be like our prey and I'm really looking forward to this challenge you guys know I'm so excited I get like this whenever I start a challenge I'm like oh my god I'm just so obsessed with it come on Eden you really need to pee and we are gonna take a steamy shower Oh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to take a thoughtful shower because we do need to start work on our cooking and our charisma. So we're going to cook some breakfast. We do need to get to level 10 of the cooking, which is going to be so difficult. Oh, it's really, I'm not looking forward to it. I hate being on a normal lifespan. Oh, it makes me feel so rushed. I feel like I have to do everything so quickly. Oh, it's giving me shivers thinking about it. My goodness. Okay, she's having a shower. And then we are going to serve... Uh, actually, I'm just going to have breakfast because I don't want to serve it because then she won't cook every day. And if she cooks every day, then she's going to get a higher... a higher level. So we may as well just cook our food when we need food. Hopefully Jay doesn't have a job. I can't remember if he does or not. I probably should have uh, moved him out of his house. I'm thinking, can we move him in before we are married? I'm going to check the rules quickly. This whole let's play, this whole challenge is just going to be me like checking the rules. Meet a sim, build your relationship until you can get married. Okay, so I don't think we like move him in. Um, I don't think we move him in until after we're married and then we have the dinner party and then we move in the second guy and have him caught cheating <laughs> oh my goodness wait that doesn't make sense after the party find a new romantic interest move him in and get caught cheating i.e. make your current hubby make sure you're um Okay, I'm getting confused. Maybe I'll have to watch someone else's video and see how they did it. Because I don't know whether we move that guy in, the second guy in, whilst we're still not married to him. I guess we do. I guess that what that's what it means, move him in after the dinner party. So we can move him in, take his money, and then kill off the second, the first husband, and move on to the second. Yeah, that makes sense. I think, I don't know. I'm not very clear about what that means but hopefully oh Eden <laughs> you silly willy right we do desperately need money we're gonna have to like marriage him marriage him we're going to have to marriage him ASAP <laughs> I think we're gonna find some collectibles first please do not burn the house down I swear please do not do it for you she actually managed to not burn it which is great so she's gonna have that we are gonna um oh no she's gonna have it at the breakfast bar i thought she was gonna eat it on the sofa i was like well we may as well watch tv if we were about to do that but um she's not okay here we go there's loads of collectibles so we're gonna harvest this and dig for these i know collecting harvestables is pretty boring but we have to do it. We have to earn some simoleons somehow, my friends. And I know it's not the funnest of things, 
but we can do it and it'll only be for a few well probably just this part to be honest because I do want to marry him in the next um are there any others around this area yes there are um what are you lilies plants don't really earn that much money so I'm kind of not too fussed about plants like I just want like frogs and those little gemstone thingies which doesn't there don't actually seem to be a lot of those gems around do, 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 do. okay i think that's pretty much oh no there's some over here as well um oh wow this is a really nice like garden bit i love it but we're not gonna search all of those because come on eden hurry up you're almost let's skip through this a little bit Let, not skip through it but we'll speed it up a bit she acquired the gardening skill hell yes come on eden you can do it you can do it if you put your back into it <laughs> i don't know what that was oh man why i'm so weird so so strange so we got one of those which we're gonna sell we got some mushrooms for 10 simoleons. Oh my god, why are we getting so many time capsules? They really don't earn that much money. Come on, Eden. Oh my god, are you serious? Three time capsules in a row? Get out of here. Okay, so we got all of those. We're going to go home and we're going to try and invite Jay over. Ooh, and we got a frog. We're going to sell it. There we go, 343 simoleons. I'm fairly sure like a wedding costs like... A ridiculous amount like isn't it like 2,000 simoleons which is crazy I don't want to I don't want to pay 2,000 simoleons for a wedding maybe we could do like can we elope is that allowed like surely that would be allowed it doesn't technically say in the rules if you think we're allowed to elope then let me know um, how much are weddings a thousand simoleons we don't even have a thousand simoleons Oh, and it said that it should be a formal party. Although technically that's not in the rules. That's just to make it more realistic, which I don't kind of understand. Like, I guess that's realistic, but surely you could just elope. Like, that would be okay. Right, we're going to go up here just so I know. Jay will uh, come around. Right, here we go. Jay Huntington, get your little face over here. Hopefully he'll come. Please... Please don't be busy. Please. Jay is busy right now. Okay, well, then I guess um, we're going to send Don a text just to keep him friendly. And should we try and find someone else? I don't know. I feel so bad. This is... I feel so naughty. I really do. Are there any other boys around? Man, this is bad. I feel like we're just like stalking for prey. You know what? I think... Uh, I was gonna go to the gym, um, yeah, I guess we could go to the gym, because at the gym, you meet loads of people, so we'll kind of be working on our charisma as we're also working on our athleticism. I don't really know why, but I just kind of want her to meet people, so that we just have more options, but even though you guys are making sims, which will probably, after Don and after Jay, then I will probably just start using your sims because I love getting you guys involved and it makes me really happy when you guys are like proud to see your sims. Like that makes me so happy. I love it. So we are going to come and run with our chest out. Such an Eden thing to do. Incredible text. That's why she's feeling confident. After reading your use of abbreviations and emoticons, it's no surprise that some sims consider texting to be the only true art form. Here we go. We're going to give her a friendly intro. Let's try and get to know her. This is going to help with our charisma. We're going to brag about our possessions and tell an unbelievable story. Hopefully we'll impress her. I always want to impress Katrina. I don't know what it is about her. Hello there, mister. We are going to give him a friendly intro. Just, you know, just to have options. Jaden's pretty hot. Hello, handsome. Oh my goodness, he is so attractive. For an in-game sim. 
Oh uh, my god! How have I never seen you around uh, before? We're gonna discuss interests with you, and we're gonna get, gonna get to know you a little bit. Why not? And we're gonna ask you about your career and just try and impress you, I guess. We're gonna brighten your day. She is so good at talking to people and she's also snobbly surrounded. So he is childish. Eden has learned that Jaden is a painter. Ooh, an artist. I like, I like. We're gonna have a gossip with you and tell you a funny story. Like I said, this is just for having options. Oh, Katrina, you stink girl. You need to go get a shower, please. Please go and do that. Is our char charisma going up? I think it is. Like, when you tell, like, stories and stuff, it helps with your charisma. Like, just talking to people definitely helps with your charisma. Like, telling jokes helps with your... Um, your comedy skill as well. That was that was way harder to get out than I thought it was going to be. I was like, why aren't words forming right now? Our charisma doesn't seem to be going up that much. Maybe we should stop running because it seems that our fitness is going up, but our charisma kind of isn't. Dude, do not walk away from me. Uh, excuse me. We are going to tell him an unbelievable story and we're going to hook him a little bit. He's just a backup. <laughs> but you guys probably your sims will take main main events and we're gonna tell a joke about sunset valley and compliment his outfit a little bit and um show off our muscles go for it even though we don't have that many like we literally just started working out <laughs> i'm very sure we don't have that much we're gonna offer him a rose like just straight off the bat let's try it let's see if it works i don't know if it will or not but we can try like i said he's like a backup plan everyone needs a backup plan especially a black widow just in case things don't work out with Don or Jay, even though I'm sure they will, because Jay is pretty much in love with us. I'm fairly sure. <laughs> like, he woohooed with us straight away. He didn't even question it. He was just like, hell yes. We're going to hug him. Why isn't this getting up our charisma? I don't really understand. Oh, there we go. Charisma level three. Eden can now donate to online charity, practice pickup lines at a mirror, and can flatter other sins. Hell yes. Go, Eden. We really need to get Jay. Um, should we try and ask him out on a date? Let's try and do this. Jay, Jay, Jay. Please tell me you're not busy. Oh, is he? Oh, yes, he is. Damn, he's still working. What does he work as? I guess we could go on a date with Don, but I don't want to get engaged to Don. I want to get engaged to Jay, my little boo. I guess we'll go work on our charisma. Um, so we are going to go and practice star speech. Ooh, Johnny Zest. He was actually one that you guys pointed out. You like, Johnny is definitely single and definitely works alone. So we could kind of go for Johnny as well. He's kind of cute, I'm not gonna lie. He is a cutie, but I don't know. You guys should let me know. You guys should let me know whether you would prefer me to focus on your sims or uh, people that are already in the game. I guess like it'll be really easy to find 10 blokes on, on the gallery after you guys have finished creating them. So yeah, I'm gonna hold off on new romances. So we'll have two with Jay and Don and then the rest will likely to be yours that you create because I want people to have as bigger chance as possible look at everyone everyone's coming in like girl what the hell are you playing at why are you talking to yourself in a mirror bella is judging us and mitchell is judging us so hard who is this what are you wearing you i need to get rid of that custom content because you are currently wearing two coats and that what over layering or what you look like you're overcompensating for something girl <laughs> My goodness, custom content. I do need to get rid of some custom content. My game is like jam packed at the minute and it's just, it's getting a little bit silly to be honest. Oh, look who just arrived. Our little beau, little Don Lothario over here. 
He's feeling it. He's working out. Um, what should we do? I kind of just want to work on our charisma for a bit more. Oh no, Jaden's here as well. I hope he doesn't try and hit on us. That could be hella awkward. <laughs> oh man, imagine. That would be so bad. Can we ask him on a date yet? All right, stop doing that for a sec. No. Darn it. Why can't we ask him on a date? That's so irritating. I don't know what to do. I don't know whether to, um, I feel like this, right, we're gonna offer him a rose. I feel like this part is a waste if we don't flirt with someone, so we're gonna flirt with Don just because Jay doesn't want to seem to be here. We're gonna give him a suave kiss as well. He's so swooning over us. Oh my goodness. He is like loving life. We're gonna give him a bold pickup line. So we need to have a boyfriend. We need to ask him to be our boyfriend. Not Don, just yet, anyway. We're gonna keep up our flirting with him. So we're gonna have like a flirtationship with Mr. Lothario. And then with Jay, I will ask him to be our boyfriend and stuff like that. If we can ask him on a date at any point, you know? I feel like he's avoiding us and I don't like it. I don't like it when I know sims are avoiding us. Like, where the heck are you, Jay? Um, we're gonna send him a text. This is really bad. Stood in front of one guy we're flirting with and texting the other. <laughs> we are a terrible person and I love it so much. I love it. Oh my goodness. We are disgraceful. Whew. We're gonna give him a passionate kiss. We're feeling flirty, so we may as well let's not waste the mood. We definitely need to get friendly with them though as well. Um, oh, I feel like we're in a very public setting. I'm genuinely terrified that Jay is just gonna walk through. I feel like we do need to keep up our friendly as well, just so that I know they're not gonna fall out. Um, or like lose any relationship or anything like that. Let's brighten his day a bit and what else? Friendly, 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 have a deep conversation and tell a funny story. We just need to keep up our friendly relationship. We need to keep up both of them to be honest. I'm terrified that like if we don't speak to him for a couple of days like it's just gonna go instantly and then it's gonna be like no all my hard work for nothing. Jay are you free yet? I don't want to invite him to hang out at our current lot because Don's here and I know he's here so I want to ask him on a date instead like make it a fish because we do need to go on two dates. Oh no, why can we not do it? Mr. J, where even are you? Should we go on a date with Don? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. This is hard. Damn it. Where are you, J? J Huntington the Third. I am going to have words with you, my friend. Definitely going to have words. Oh, she just kissed him. She's feeling Don Lothario. Okay, I think we're gonna go home and try and wait it out for Jay because I really want to make him our boyfriend because you guys wanted it and I don't want to disappoint you guys. Oh, he's not available, is he? He just doesn't want to hang out with us. I guess we could go like spy on his house. I don't actually know where he lives though. Um, so yeah, it's kind of difficult to spy on someone when you don't know where they live. That's why I kind of like placing sims because then I know exactly where they live and I'm like, okay, we're gonna come and visit you right now. JJJJJ, why are you so busy? Let's invite him round. Let's see if we can do this. If he's still busy, I swear. Jay is busy right now. Jay, where do you work? Like, why are you working so late? We need to make some food, actually. Uh, we're going to serve some mac and grilled cheese. <laughs> mac and grilled cheese. No, we're going to go for grilled cheese. I was going to make mac and cheese, but I feel like Jay would like grilled cheese and we're serving it for him. I did say I was just gonna cook meals, but um, if he's gonna come around then 
Oh, okay. We're definitely not going to impress him with that, Eden. You need to, you need to get your game together. No wonder you need to work on your cooking skill. You just almost ruined grilled cheese. Who even does that? How do you, how do you manage to ruin grilled cheese? Come on, girl. Come on. Seriously, how are you managing to flip that out of the pan? It's probably one of the easiest things to make. Bless her. We're going to put that in there. Oh, she's feeling tense. Stale surroundings. Materialistic sims get a little tense if they haven't admired something they just bought recently. Well, girl, we don't have the money to buy new things like that. I'm not going to buy something new just on a whim. You can deal with what you have. Look at the nice house that you have. There we go. She's back to feeling flirty. That's what I like. That's, this is literally going to be like her natural state of being for this whole challenge. Like she's just going to be in a state of being of constant flirtation. And I'm so happy with that. Oh, I forgot to add up the point system as well. I thought I was going to do that, but I completely forgot before recording this part. So I'll have a check of the point system after I finish this one and then in the next one we can like see how many points we have so far. I don't even know how the point system works. I've never done a challenge and used a point system so that's gonna be entertaining just watching me get confused over maths because I am terrible at mathematics. Even simple addition. <laughs> okay come on. Jay, why aren't you coming over? If he doesn't come over, I swear we're just gonna stalk him. Like, it's like 8 p.m. You are not working right now. I realize that it's gross that she just didn't wash her hands, but I don't want to miss this window of opportunity. Jay Huntington the third will be right over. I hate how he has the third on his name. Like, who even are you, Jay? Who do you think you are? Seriously. Here he is. Um... We're going to invite him to stay the night once again, and we're going to give him a passionate kiss to welcome him. Hopefully Dawn isn't walking past. I feel like I have to be so aware of my surroundings. What's going on? Why are you begging for forgiveness? <gasps> what did you do? Did you like cheat on us or something? I don't know. That looked like he was like begging for forgiveness. I don't know. He has a really funny voice. <laughs> it makes me giggle. Alright, we're gonna ask to be his ask him to be our boyfriend. Not ask him not ask to be his boyfriend. Yes. Those are the words that I was trying to say. Yay! They're now together officially. So they are now boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, this is bad. I'm actually like shipping it and I know that we need to kill him off. Sorry, Jay. I know you might be in love with us, but this is all... Oh my god, stop it. This is genuinely going to make me feel like such a bad person when we do actually have to kill him off. Should we? Should we propose? Can we even do that right now? Yeah, we can propose. Let's do it. I know this isn't the most romantic setting and like we're in athletic wear, but this is it. We're doing it, guys. Oh, look at her. She looks happy. She just knows that she's going to get money. She's like, ka-ching, loser. <laughs> That's pretty much how Eden is feeling right now. This is like the worst possible spot to like propose to someone. Ah, oh, he said yes. That's so cute. No, you cuties! So there we go. First prey is trapped in our web. He is... You are gonna regret that, sunny boy, because you just fell into our web and you are very much about to regret it, Mr. J. So, do you reckon we can elope immediately or... I guess we do have to plan a wedding event just because it has to be formal. Like, it is way more realistic that way. So, I'm going to end this part here, guys. But I hope you all enjoyed it. I am really loving it. I'm loving Eden. I just think she's so hilarious. And what she is trying to do is just disgraceful. But I love it. Like, I said this in the last part. 
we are acting so shady but i love it so i hope you guys enjoyed i know this is going pretty fast but that's because we literally have to do it in like 40 days of sim life which really isn't that long like we've already lost two days pretty much so oh it's really terrifying that we have that time limit but i hope you all enjoyed all the same if you did please do give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, you guys can start creating sims for Eden to fall in love with. Just use the hashtag, what did I say? BWingSimmer. So I will put that up once again right now for you all if you would like to upload some people to the gallery for her to find and stalk and pray and kill <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and i will speak to you all in my next video bye guys